Now, Anthony, phlox is obviously an old-fashioned plant, but are the newer varieties really deserving of a place in the modern garden? Yes, these are the new volcano phlox, and they are actually better and easier to look after than the traditional phlox. In what way? There's no disease uh, on them. Uh, they're easy to look after. Once you finish flowering, you can actually cut them back by about a third, and they'll come back and rebloom and really, really good. So what sort of colours have we looking at? Uh, you have, as you see here, mauve, we have whites, you have reds, you have mm, mauvey blues and blues with white centres. A really whole conflagration of different colours. I think we made up a new word, but it's all good. <laughs> it looks spectacular a mass. How would you see it used in the garden? I like planting about three to five in a clump and about three or four of these clumps throughout the garden and it adds that spot of colour throughout the garden that helps your garden look really a little bit magical. There you go, splashes of colour. Get them in the garden this autumn.